New tonight, the Fairfax County Board of Supervisors just voted to give themselves a big raise, like tens of thousands of dollars. Not everyone is on board with this, of course. Some of our neighbors think that money should go elsewhere. Our Katie Lesso is on this for us tonight, live in Fairfax County, where that vote took place. Katie. Yeah, and just in the last two hours, the Fairfax County Board of Supervisors voted to give the next round of board members a massive raise, but not before listening to nearly three hours of testimony. But I want you to listen to this. This was the reaction just moments after that vote. And with that, uh, that brings us to the end of our board meeting of March 20th. Yeah. Tuesday night, the Fairfax County Board of Supervisors voted 8-2 to two in favor of raising the salary of the next elected board. Supervisors' pay would go from $95,000 to $123,283. And the chairperson's salary will go from $100,000 to $138,283. They voted after more than 40 people stood up to share their thoughts. You get a raise and you get a Let's have that trophy syndrome. Everybody gets a raise. The majority in opposition. These are not meant to be full time jobs. Lead by example. Some especially upset because other county workers will only receive a 2% raise. We are losing officers. We have close to 200 vacancies. Steve Monahan is the president of the union representing Fairfax County police officers. He says FCPD is one of the lowest paid departments in the area. First it was to hear the 2%. Then we heard it was going to be them giving themselves 30 plus percent raises for themselves. It's like this has to be a joke. But the board members who voted in support say it's the first raise received since 2015. These people need to be paid. This man, one of the few supporters in attendance. They have more responsibility than virtually all the employees of the county. But those against it maintain That's, this uh, is not fair. If the citizens were asked, which would you choose, quality service and well-paid workers or higher paid politicians, I think we all know what they would choose. And these raises, they'll go into effect in January of 2024. So essentially for the next board members who are elected in November. And we are told that the next board, they won't be allowed to vote on any sort of pay increase for at least four years. In Fairfax County, I'm Katie Lasso, WUSA 9. So the vote is done, but the conversation is not. People are going to be talking about this for quite a while. Katie, thank you.